recently there have been lot of uh, dengue cases uh, in the in bangalore so the dengue cases have been spreading rapidly and uh, we've been seeing uh, very severe cases of uh, dengue so let's talk about dengue so dengue is a viral fever viral infection which uh, spreads by the bite of uh, a female uh, edis aegypti mosquito which is a day biter so generally most of the mosquitoes like malaria causing mosquitoes are anopheles and all they uh, spread the disease by biting at night but this edis aegypti is a very peculiar uh, mosquito which bites during the day during the work hours and the people will be just working in the environment and they'll be exposed to the bite of the mosquitoes and uh, dengue is a viral fever which causes severe uh, inflammatory reaction in the body once it is in the system it induces a uh, lot of immune mediated uh, inflammation in the body causing uh, mainly high grade fever tiredness fatigue and also it can lead to complications like uh, thrombocytopenia which is low platelet count which can lead to bleeding and other things it can cause is uh, accumulation of fluid in the abdomen and chest can cause uh, low heart rate can lead to other complications like respiratory distress respiratory failure and also sometimes uh, very severe form which is called as dengue shock syndrome or dengue hemorrhagic fever can cause severe uh, uncontrollable bleeding leading to death and sometimes very severe uh, low blood pressure which can lead to organ dysfunction so we need to discuss uh, the treatment and other things but mainly i want to discuss about the prevention of the disease so the dengue virus can only be sp- uh, stops from spreading only by preventing the uh, mosquito bites so generally when it is a day biter we are not uh, aware uh, when we are working some mosquito will come and bite so we should be aware of it and we should take precautions to avoid collection of uh, fresh water uh, places like uh, cans and all which cannot be open and even the tanks uh, overhead tanks or under water under uh, ground tanks should not be kept open so that the mosquitoes can breed and no new larvae can arise and these uh, precautions have to be taken to prevent the breeding of mosquitoes and secondly to avoid mosquito bites we need to use mosquito repellents insect repellents and also we can use uh, at workplaces we can use uh, repellents uh, of mosquito like uh, the coils or liquid repellents which can avoid uh, mosquito bites and also we can use creams which are uh, which are generally very sensitive to the skin sometimes it can cause allergies so we need to see whether the patient is not allergic we can use the creams which are uh, uh, generally uh, very uh, easily usable and uh, easily available in the market second thing is uh, once dengue fever is there uh, we need to uh, make sure that the patient has uh, adequate hydration take plenty of fluids and antioxidants and when we need to check every day platelet and all if the platelet is going down rapidly we need to transfuse the platelet and need admission and if the patient is going for hypotension shock we need to treat aggressively